Kishimoto, author of one of the biggest mangas ever. Creator of this amazing world is full of ninjas, great battles, forbidden techniques and some other stuff. He managed to take the world not only with the story of Naruto but with the art style that is so simple and at the same time so beautiful. Hello there, I'm Marco and I'm artist for 5 years. Today I'm gonna do a complete breakdown of Masashi Kishimoto's art style. So take a seat and enjoy. Kishimoto as I said have a really simple art style. So there's only three main characteristics and those characteristics are heads, line art and shading. His art style sticks to the usual rule. Sharper shapes for male characters and rounder ones for female characters. But there is also a lot of characters that don't stick to, to that rule. We're gonna talk about those later in the video. Males have sharper head shapes and sharper face features. And females have rounder heads and rounder face features. But some characters don't follow this rule. Look at Naruto for example. He has round eyes and a bit rounder head shape and rounder face features. That's because the shape of his face features reflects his personality. Naruto is a friendly character, so because of that he has a rounder face features. And look for example this character. This character is not supposed to look friendly. It's supposed to look dangerous. So because of that this character have a more sharper face features and sharper head shape even if this character is a female character. So if you are designing a character thinking shapes and maybe I'm gonna make a video about character design so make sure that you are subscribed. But let's get going with the shading. Masashi Kishimoto's shading is one of my favorite because it's so simple. It must contain solid black and cross etching and gray tones, that's that's it completely. Uh, there's not many screen tones as other man characters like to use. Even if this shading is simple, you still need to know the basics of the shading. So my honest advice to you is to first always learn the basics. And the third characteristic is line art. I'm the guy who is absolutely in love with the line arts and seeing Kishimoto's art style makes me wanna practice art style all day. His style of doing line work is so simple and clean. You always know what is on the scene and you can always recognize every detail on the character. To be able to draw line art like this you first need to practice it. Good for you because I have a video on how to do line art so check it out. Link is, link is in the description or you can cl click somewhere on on the screen, I don't know. But enough of speaking, let's move on the drawing. Okay, let's move on the on the drawing part of the video. And yeah, let's pretend like I'm not recording this four days later. I'm gonna draw right now Naruto and I'm gonna implement all of those things that I explained in the first part of the video. So let's begin. First, I'm too far from my microphone. Now I'm gonna first start with the eyes and when you draw eyes first you need to know that gap between eyes is equal uh, is equal as one eye so gap between eyes is the, is the same size like one eye simple as that so our gap is gonna be this and I'm gonna trace 
the shape of Naruto, Naruto's eye just to see, just to understand it better. So it's some shape like this. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> When you do the line art, the one of the most important things is to make to make these long lines. You know, just if you if you make line art with lines like this, it's gonna look not that good. But if you make line art with lines like this, you know the long and the lines that they are made in the single stroke or in a single hand movement it's gonna go it's gonna go it's gonna look much much better so i truly recommend you to draw lines uh in one hand movement i know how to say that but you know what i mean Also edit your line art with eraser. This is just you know another another tip from me. Okay, that's it for my study of Naruto art style. If you like it, please consider hitting like button and subscribe button. I hope that you find this video helpful and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.